Hey guys, so today's video is a haul of everything that I bought this month. It keeps me semi accountable and it will link to a video that I'll film later on this month. I know it's coming up to the end of the month anyway. In a few videos time, you'll get a video that's kind of semi related to this haul. It's what's kept me accountable and it's, it's the reason why I came up with that future video concept. So I'm gonna go over everything I bought this month. It's less than other months, but still way too much. So I'm just gonna get into all of that. Before we get into the video, subscribe, hit that bell, like, comment for engagement, and let's get into it. So first thing I bought was Charlotte Tilbury. I got two of the face and eye palettes and they're incredible, great, amazing. The eyeshadows are super blendable. There's this one like beautiful like glimmery shade that I really enjoy and all the face products are super blendable. I just think it's 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 a good staple palette I'll definitely use for traveling once we get back into doing that. I have had my first dose of my vaccination and I'm due for my second one in a few weeks time. Um, however, you know, whenever that happens. Um, and after that, I'm able to, you know, explore the world again. It's great. Then I also ended up getting this eyeshadow palette, this big one. Um, I have already the Hypnotize Exaggerate something. I already had one of them. I'll show them all up on the screen. And then I ended up buying the Pillow Talk this month as well, but I'll get into that. It's a different transaction all, all together. This one, incredible, amazing. You can create four different looks with it. They're four very different looks, I find. With some of the big Charlotte Tilbury palettes, they're definitely like a cohesive one look that you can switch, that you can separate into four different looks, but they're usually kind of like semi-linked. These completely different. I love the quality of the Big Charlotte Tilbury palette. I'm just really excited to have it. That one and the Pillow Talk one are always out of stock. So I was just really excited to finally find it and be able to get it. And they're great travel palettes as well. They're super thin, uh, but you get like a lot of different shades in there. The foiled metallics are amazing. The matte's super blendable. I think if you're looking for quality from Charlotte Tilbury, then splurge for the big palette instead of the quads. The quads are definitely a slightly lower quality for some reason. They're great and they're super convenient. I think they're still really high quality, but the big eyeshadow palettes, that's where the money is at. Uh, so if you can get them on a sale as well, do it. Uh, they're great. Uh, I also got my Very Victoria full size lipstick considering I finished the mini size that I was using um, and because of how proud of myself I was and how much I loved that lipstick I ended up getting the full size uh, because it's one of my favorite lipsticks of all time to be quite honest with you. Then I went on Truly Beauty. I've been loving their body products. Nothing has ever made my skin feel so smooth and luxurious and luscious. So I ended up uh, doing a purchase considering I got a 20% code. They just keep on sending me codes and it's like, I get it, it's a marketing trick and they get me every single time. I ended up getting a Cellulite serum. I like to try all their serums. I tried the bum one, the boob one, and now they have a Cellulite one. It's like a vegan range, I believe. The body polish to go with that serum, which is also vegan. It's all of the collagen and stuff like that. Do I think it's gonna work? Maybe, possibly, I don't really know, but I just enjoy using the products. They're super nourishing. If I apply it in the evening, before bed, when I wake up in the morning, my skin is still nourished. Like you can still feel the nourishment on my skin. And I've never had that with any other body products. So I'm just really like happy to be using these products, I guess. I got three shave butters because they're the only thing that makes me not get a rash from shaving. My skin's super sensitive, mainly under like my armpits and anywhere that's kind of like, you know, basically anywhere. Um, So just using like shower gels as slip and slide isn't working for me. Um, and this is the only shave thing so far that I find uh, works well enough to where I don't get a rash from shaving. So I got three of those because it is coming from America, so it takes ages to come. So I'd rather get like bulk rather than having to buy them separately. Also, if you don't spend $150 and you're from outside of America, you have to pay like $70 shipping. So I just get a lot of like stuff in bulk and then I don't open it so it doesn't expire. Um, and that way I can, um, you know, get stuff. I also got the Unicorn Bundle, which is a body polish, body butter, and a lip butter times two. Uh, once again, the body polishes you go through very quickly, the body butters you go through very quickly, the pots are very small. Uh, so if I don't get more than one in one order, I'm gonna have to end up paying a bunch in shipping and I'm gonna have to wait like a month before those products come and I'm gonna use them up by that point. So I just get a lot and then I just keep it around. And then I got another body bundle, which is the booby and bum bundle. You get serum, polish, butter for the boobs and the bum i use them all over the body like that's how I, you know i do this stuff and i got 20 percent off all of that so that was actually quite nice then i ended up getting on color pop i got the barbie collection so i got the eyeshadow palette two of the lip duos the lip sets it's a lip liner plus lipstick i wish it didn't come with the lip liner i would have just got the lipstick you guys know how i feel about lip liners i have too many of them but i was really obsessed with the lipstick so i ended up you know having to get the lip liners Mm, did make me feel some kind of way about that, but that's fine. I ended up getting the light pink 
and the light nude. I didn't get the fuchsia pink because I'm learning from mistakes. Um, if I see a red lipstick or a pink fuchsia or some kind of a bold lipstick, I'm not getting it because um, I don't wear those shades. So I only really need one or two of each shade at most. I ended up throwing a lot a lot of like red lipsticks away or giving them away because they were either expired or I just didn't need them. So I gave them away to someone else and I just kept the ones that I really, really enjoy because I don't wear them a lot. I wear nudes and pinks. So I don't really see why I ever bought so many bold shades that I just don't wear. Mm. I got the highlight as well, which I'm gonna do for summertime when I'm a little bit more tan, but I just basically got all of this for the novelty factor of it. I want the collectors. I told you guys, I don't buy some makeup items unless it is like a limited edition collectors kind of a thing. I know it's stupid, but like some people collect statues, some people collect, you know, stationery or books. Um, I collect makeup. So yeah, I ended up also getting the mirror. I think it came in the set with the eyeshadow palette. So it's like a little small mirror. It's all very cute. It came today, that's why I'm looking in that general direction. I'm wearing the lip liner today, just very gently like blotted. You can tell it's just like a very Barbie pink. I really, really enjoy it. Cult Beauty, why am I shouting? First of all, Cult Beauty. Well, almost at the end. Usually these videos are about 25,000 minutes long. And today we're like really zooming through these. You can tell I probably just didn't buy as much as I usually buy. Cult Beauty, I ended up getting the big billow, billow, the big pillow talk palette which is basically all pinks and it's become very quickly one of my favorite palettes you're gonna see it in a favors and fails video as the fave it's incredible it's amazing it's like a advanced version of the pillow talk quad it doesn't have the same tones i feel like the pillow talk quad is like a pinky mauvey dusty kind of a shade where it leans a little bit more brown with the pillow talk big palette it's pinks like it's straight up pinks, you get some fuchsias on the end, you get some baby pinks. It's just a gorgeous palette. You can do a day look with it with like just like the lighter pinks. For me personally, obviously it depends on your skin tone. For me, the lighter pinks are like my everyday shades and I'm not really sure what I'm doing. I just want like a natural look. And then you can amp them up with the fuchsia pinks. And the quality, once again, is just impeccable. It's amazing. I love it. The foiled shades, stunning. So I'm really happy with that. I also ended up getting the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. The only reason I got it really was because it was on like a 20% off sale for some reason. And I got it and it's quickly, very, very quickly become one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. I love it. I did just say that I'm getting out of my comfort zone with the browns and the like orangey shades again. I used to love these shades and then I kind of fell out of love with them. This is the Metropolis palette. It's like a very natural look. I did the wing liner with one of the shades in there. It's just one of these like, it doesn't, the camera doesn't really do it justice. It's what's made me get back into like orangey brownie shades. I just really, really enjoy that palette so much. It's such good quality, obviously Natasha Denona, really good quality. It has a lot of smaller pans rather than big pans. So you get like a lot of variety, but smaller sizes, which I also think is really good. It's like similar packaging to the gold palette, just more shades. And I've just been really enjoying it. I think it's just such a good quality palette. And the shades she picked are really good. Um, some of them might seem redundant, but they're so different on the eyes. You also get a lot of different formulas. You get like these super shimmery shades and slightly less shimmery shades, more satiny shades. You get these like, uh, almost like cream to powder, powder to cream, like these weird formulas that she has. And then just like regular powders. I think her formula is amazing and I've just been really enjoying using it. It's in my like everyday makeup bag right now. So I'm just really, really happy with that purchase considering it was on a sale. So I really, lo I really, really love that. Then I got something that was kind of necessary, I guess, like these like things like deodorant and stuff. Um, that's kind of where I put necessary stuff under. And I got two bottles of dry shampoo. I got the, I never know how to pronounce this brand, like this one, uh, because it's a super dry shampoo, which is good for like, third day hair when I'm like, I should have washed it by now and I just didn't. So now it looks really ugly and I can't fix it with anything that isn't super dry. And then I also got the Oribe one, Oribe. I said I wouldn't buy it because it was like overpriced, but then I started using it even more and I just realized it's it's like a really good natural dry shampoo um, and no other dry shampoo makes my hair feel so natural, like just naturally not oily. I'm wearing it today and I did have semi greasy hair and it's just, you can't feel it on the head at all. Like it's like your hair is just not oily. So that's why I got both of them. I just wanted to try the the white bottle one just because I've never tried it before and the Oribe one because I know it's like a solid natural dry shampoo. And then Glossier came out with these ultra lips. They're basically this. This one wearing on top of the Barbie lip liner. I got two shades, this really natural light pink one, and then this like slightly deeper pink. And they're basically dupes for these new Charlotte Tilbury lip balms that they came out with. So if you feel like this is overpriced, I know Glossier is still not cheap by any means, but it's definitely a lot more affordable than these. And the formula is identical. 
same formula, exact same formula, same packaging, except for with the Charlotte Tilbury one, once you twist it up, you can't twist it back down. With the Glossier, you can twist it up and twist it down, but the formula and the shades are very similar. So you can pretty much dupe them directly. I feel like this is a great dupe for the Pillow Talk of this Charlotte Tilbury one. So this is too expensive for you because it's essentially just a colored lip balm uh, that's very nourishing and very nice, but it is just a lip balm. Glossier is uh, really just doing it. So I got two shades of that. I also got just an extra bottle of SPF because I needed it for the free shipping because I was like two pounds off free shipping. So I just got an SPF. And then for Pat McGrath, she released her blush collection. So she did blushes and around that she did other stuff. So I ended up getting um, this set that gave me like a huge discount. It was a blush highlight and the eyeshadow quad, which is exactly what I wanted anyway. And they basically gave on like a 30 pound discount. So I got one of the blush shades, the highlighter and the quad, and that should be coming sometime soon. Um, and yeah, that's basically everything that I got this month, which is still outrageous that I managed to find this much makeup to buy. But I just, you know, this is my job. I do buy stuff for this channel and I buy stuff because like I said, I just enjoy collecting makeup, but I will have a little exciting thing to do with hauls and buying stuff or not doing it and coming up sometime at the end of this month um, preparing for next month so you can look forward to that um, and like I said if you guys enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up comment down below anything on comment down below and subscribe to up videos every time I think of something to do so hit that bell be notified when that's happening social media links and the links in the description I'll see you in my next one bye guys